Welcome back everyone. Hope you're all well. Um, thank you for joining us today. Oh, if yeah. you're not well, we're here to try and uh, help you feel a bit better. Yeah. Um, we're gonna show you the canal and hope that'll calm you down. Yeah. Hopefully it's cheer you beautiful. up guys. Um, but anyway, <laughs> we, uh, we want to get you more involved in the day-to-day -day life of narrow boating. Um, Beautiful bow. Right? So, uh, a couple, I don't know how many days it ago it was. A couple of days ago we went and got some uh, wood, didn't we? Yeah, we went and got some wood in the nature yeah. reserve, but we didn't go in the nature reserve because we're not allowed to take it from there. We took it from round by the car park. Yeah. So the weather's coming horrible today. Not very nice at all. But we've run out of logs, aren't we? And we can't find any along the canal. Well, we're going to a little woodland, seven minutes down the canal. Um, and yeah, we could go there on the next cruise. We could just walk there. But it's horrible today anyway. Yeah, so we're going to make the most of it. Uh, and go get some uh, logs. Come with us. Away? At uh, Linton Moss, yeah. the canal is just down there. Um, yeah, it's really and here's the canal from the Nature Reserve. This is by Bridge 39. And from the canal, you can't actually tell there's a public footpath up here. And we'll go through here later in the video. It's not gloves, but it's a hat. It's a hat. So There's loads of wood here. Come on, Come on then. We're all right for a while now, guys. It's just what they cut down in this <laughs> car park and left it there yeah. for rock. Yeah, it's left it here. The rock in the car park. Yeah, look at all this wood. <laughs> in that bag. This will keep us going for a while. Yeah. A couple of days. The, the big stuff. <laughs> a bit more than a couple of days. The big stuff, Dad's got a chainsaw or chop with an axe, haven't you? I can't believe you're film filming me doing the chainsaw. <laughs> oh okay, we can plenty up, putting in the bag, putting in the locker at the front guys. Ow! That happens all the time now. <laughs> Over here. The wood processing oh, It's like a conveyor belt, isn't it? <laughs> conveyor belt. And then it's going in here. But I've also got, you can show them all what I've got in the, done in there earlier, Josh, all the other stuff. I've got kindling, I've got smaller stuff in this. Oh. 
It didn't really take long either, Josh. We're doing this new thing. Every time we moor, we're gonna, well, depending on the weather, which is nice. If it's too windy or raining, I won't do it. But, um, yeah, we stayed there for about four days, four or five days. Yeah, Thursday we got there, and it's Tuesday now. So, every time I uh, get to a spot, I'm gonna start doing some nice uh, wildlife scenery for you guys. Um, yes, so, we've got bird feeder, haven't we? Yeah, we've got some footage of the bird feeder. Swans, ducks, tem uh, licorice chasing a swan. <laughs> uh, so here you go. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, let me know if you want to see more of it. I don't think another narrowboat it does that really. I know they do uh, the footage of the front GoPro, but um, I can't really do that because the audio is terrible. And good. Sort of inspired by uh, uh, Mindful Moments. Oh yeah, we're on um, Autumn Watch yeah. and Winter Watch. Andy loves that, don't you? You always watch that. Yeah, I've watched it since it started. Yeah. And they have a mindful... Oh, well, if you watch it, you'll probably know. They have, like, a mindful moment there. Yeah. Well, everything's quiet, and you listen to the birds. 
It's lovely. It's like sitting on a riverbank or something and taking it all in. So that's what I'm trying to do for you guys who don't live on the canal so you can see what it's like. Yeah, I think that's next um, winter to war. Um, but if you may be able to tell, the audio might be a bit better. Hopefully it is. Because I've done it, guys. After 10 months. <laughs> I actually broken. sorted the microphone. I yeah. sorted it out. <laughs> uh, I didn't want to do it because... I did open my camera up and see what the problem was and the whole uh, the whole unit, the whole module for the mic to go into had fallen off and came off the solder. So it means I have to re-solder it. And I thought solder iron would be really expensive, but I just I got I got one off of Amazon for about 17 quid, so I thought that was alright. Um, and we can use it for other things if we need to, which we did. Um, so yeah, pretty much I opened up my camera, but a lot of the screws went bold. Probably my mistake because I had cheap uh, Chinese uh, precision tools. Um, so what I had to do is I had to. I didn't record it because I know I get a lot of armchair viewers saying, "Don't do this." <laughs> um, so I cut out a little bit of plastic with a standing knife so I could just get in there with the soldering iron and just about solder it back on. Not all. It's not completely soldered on. Here's what the audio sounds like if I left it but here's what it sounds like because I just changed it to the right slightly because for some reason, I don't know why, but I'm not going to mess around with it anymore for some reason it only gets audio from the left hand side but I can just change where the audio comes from in the editing software and make it more to the right so that works but I hope it's doing its job I lost, I lost my pager. It's very windy along here every time we walk. Me and Mum uh, walked. Me and Mum dropped the car yesterday down at Norbury Junction, which is about three and a half miles away. It's back, um, and we're just going to head there today. So it's not a long cruise today, but nonetheless, I still hope you enjoy it. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining us. <laughs> Now unfortunately for the entire length of this cruise, the GoPro was in time-lapse mode. See, it's not that ludicrous having a Devonshire flag when there's a Cornish flag here. I remember this boat being here in August when we came through and it certainly hasn't been there for 48 hours unfortunately it looks like it's been abandoned I love this little aqueduct here So we are Hi. about a mile and a half in no. um, It's going good Though we almost crashed into some boat didn't we? Oh. Yeah it's just a wind took us Just a wind took us, we were miles from them really 
Wind, what did you say? Wind took us. The wind took us. The wind oh. took us. <laughs> the wind took us. Yeah, so we had to put a bit more power on just to get through because it's over that or we hit their boat. <laughs> so I give people the benefit of the doubt um, when they go faster past our yeah, boat. Yeah, if it's windy, if it's, wind. it's got no control really. It's over that or they hit the boat. So we're about to go into Grub. Grub something? Grub Street. Grub Street Cutting. I think. So I we should it. be nice and shouted in here. Yeah. What do you saw? I saw the, the sign the what other day. I saw the sign the other day, no. Grub Street. Um, we're yeah, we're getting a bit, getting a bit too, well, we're getting further away from Dad's work now, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. Um, but how long was it? 35 minutes last night? From 35 there. minutes. And it's all small country lanes, it takes bloody ages. So that's probably going to be about 40 And if minutes. it's frozen, they're all the um, back lanes, they're not gritted, so I've had a couple of slides already. I'd rather just stick to the eight roads in the winter months. Well, I'm afraid we can't do that because there's not <coughs> always a canal no. in eight roads. Which is a good thing. Well, um, we're looking at a new job at the moment, yes. aren't we? No. Did put a post on Facebook. You guys recommended some to us. Because um, I gave you a radius of where we need to get a job. But it's hard to find a job on the canal in a pub or a wharf or a marina. Really hard to find because they're quite desirable. But I found this um, nice pub in the middle of nowhere in the Cotswolds, um, near Evesham, about 20 minutes from Evesham. It's in the middle of nowhere, in a little town called Ford. It's called the Plough Inn. Who can guess? Uh, <laughs> but it's £15 an hour, from £15 an hour. So that's really decent. If it's £10 an hour, it's not worth it, really. It was a, few, a couple of decades ago, maybe, wasn't it? Well, not anymore. Well, when Andy done the door. £10 an hour. Oh god, I was getting that 15 years ago. Yeah. Well, 20, when we moved down to Devon 20 years ago, you were getting that. Yeah. Working on the door, and it's the same now, so you haven't bothered got getting your badge again. And it's you? worse, it's harder now because I've got to pay for the badge, I've got to pay for extra training that I need. We weren't talking about security anyway, we're talking about chef work. Chef yeah. work, this is now, yeah. Chef work's just it's not very good pay either, really. Yes, but this one's good, isn't yeah, it? It's 15 good. pound an hour. Um, uh, uh, from Dad doesn't want to be a head chef. He just wants part-time work as a second chef. Yeah, just part-time, so we can still cruise. So that's what the job is. Um, nice little family-run country pub. Uh -huh. And um, but we need to know if it's <laughs> split shift or not. Yeah, we, we don't split shift. We can't do that. So we're, we're waiting to find out if it is or not. And then I think we might be going. Dad might be going for his interview on Monday. Maybe. Uh, but we'll see. We'll just give you a heads up. Uh, that we look, Dad's looking for a new job. Well, by that time this comes out. Yeah. We, yeah. By the time this comes out, I have a new job. <laughs> but yeah, let's enjoy the rest of the cruise. Mm. In the middle of the bloody park. It's so green. So here we are at Norby Junction, where we could have gone 24 miles to Shrewsbury, down a 17 lock flight, even bigger than Orderlam, but unfortunately 
The Shrewsbury and Newport Canal was abandoned in 1944, but is actively being restored, and we're going to do a two-part video series on it. A pussy cat. I'm too sexy for the boat. Mm. So we're moored up. Oh, sorry. Oh, no. We're moored up, aren't we? Yeah, we're moored up. God, um, we had a struggle getting in. We were getting blown <coughs> to and hit. Well, all. Just, well, we just hit the other boat. We just, tapped, just tapped the other boat. Mm. Andy took over from me. We'd done half and half the cruise, and he was getting all stressed. Mm. But then there's a lovely guy behind us that's um, moored up. He asked uh, for the rope. It, so he said, it, "Give us a rope. Chuck us a rope." Yeah. And it's he not stressed. It's just worrying. If I hit someone else's boat and then they start coming out, you know, and moaning and. Yeah. But he he pulled us in, Andy, didn't he? Yeah, he pulled us yeah, right. We in. got um. Nice. <coughs> God. God almighty. Oh shite. Really nice guy. But we got water and rid of our rubbish at Norbury Junction. Yeah, we're full, full up with water so I've done some washing again. Norbury Junction where we uh, wish we could go down the Shrewsbury Canal but we mm. can't because it's abandoned. <laughs> um, Watch your space though because we're going to walk yes. it. In the next video you'll see us going to go explore it. Um, don't know if it'll be two videos or one, but we're going to explore the old relics of the canal. It's nothing like the Montgomery, um, where there's a lot of it left, and we're going to walk the whole thing. <coughs> we're just going to be stopping off at every landmark, and just walking parts we can walk, that are not yeah. on private land and stuff. That's the trouble, a lot of it. It's like we can't even walk from Norbury Junction, this part of it, because it's all private. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell's going on? What are you doing? Yeah, I know. We've got better internet here, guys. Oh, What's he's that? checking on his internet. 30 For megabytes. So he can play his Xbox. <laughs> oh, he's said earlier. <coughs> but, yeah. yeah. Moored up. Cats are out. Had something sad, though, didn't we? Oh, yeah. The, uh, Amy, my daughter, rang and I was on the thing with her. But as I was talking to her, uh, the guy that helped us pull the boat in, he's just, there's a he was just checking because he saw our cats go out and he was just checking uh, if we'd lost a cat and there's a dead cat in the um canal which was horrible mm. black and black and grey yeah, mixed black and tabby so black and tabby that was it yeah. mix, mm. mixture of licorice and tabitha mm. i didn't so want to get them uh, cats so we find a stray and keep them mm. feeding them there in the vet bills and that and that <coughs> then we're going to stay here for a few days. Well Dad's got his shifts, hasn't he? Got four more cruises to the end of the shoppy where the stoppage is. Um so we need to space it out. Mm. Uh, yeah Dad's got tomorrow so off. So we get there um for when the, the stoppage opens up, which is on the third of March. So yes, thanks for watching. Please like Thank and subscribe. You. Yeah make sure you subscribe because mm. half of you don't and it don't cost anything to subscribe. We do keep telling everybody, so make sure you subscribe. And if you feel like it, you can donate to us on PayPal, just a one-off donation. Yeah, really if you want to. Um, yeah, well, thanks thanks for all our patrons anyway, um, over the last, uh, just over a year. Fantastic. Thanks you for all your support. Yeah. And it really, really helps us out. Just diesel in, in her and they're putting olive like you can see if you watch us engine repairs <laughs> so yeah keep keep watching and enjoying and we'll see you next time yep see, see you, you later time. guys bye Stop.